Hey, what's up guys? Diplox here again. Welcome back to Men of War Soul Squad 2. We're playing the Red Rising mod. That's right, we are back in Red Rising. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, the last time we played this mod, we were wrapping up that first Wasteland series, uh, which was really just an experiment on how you could do some storytelling using the Men of War editor. And it's really interesting because, yeah, you can totally tell a very cinematic and ambient story using it, but it obviously takes time, good maps and good scripting, which also takes uh, time in itself. Um, but uh, anyway, today we're going to kind of kickstart the Red Rising mod again with just a good old classic battle that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Um, we're playing it on the latest version which is currently um, not yet released and I downloaded this just the other day so it's going to be different from what you saw previously. I think it's mainly gameplay changes but they have added some units too. Um, ranges are increased and stuff like that but it is it is big. It's 10 gigabytes unpacked and when it's no, sorry, packed, compressed, or whatever you want to call it. When it's unpacked, it's probably 15. Who knows? Uh, lots of uh, lots of gigabytes and textures and skins and models and all that stuff. Uh, there's also new animations, I think, damage models and stuff. They've updated the texts above the vehicles when, when the engine starts burning and all that stuff. It's no longer in Russian, I believe, which is good. I uh, can't remember if it was before that anyway. But today we're just going to do a classic little old scenario that we've kind of started doing <laughs> Men of War uh, ages ago. Uh, we have a VDV base set up here somewhere in, say, Eastern Germany, Poland, or perhaps Western Russia. It's not quite relevant. It's besides the point. Uh, it's sort of like quickly set up. They've created some landing pads for helicopters so that they can airlift troops into battle quickly. Um, there's also some defenses around here. Uh, both forces have an even sort of strength today. Um, the, the Germans will be supported by air. And the Russians will obviously have the assets to counter it, such as this AA gun down here on the ground. Um, so yeah, it's a VDV base. Here's an old train station that they've kind of, you know, making use of. Some troopers here waiting to get shipped home um, from the front lines to rest and recover. They've recently been on missions. So we've got about the remains of a platoon here. And we have some more sections ready to head out here. So that's, in general, quite cool. We've got some regulars uh, for the base defense here. About a platoon too. Spread out all over it. We've got some vehicles, some T-90s, and all that good stuff. Ready to be attacked by the Bundeswehr. Who's coming in with a very similar force. They have some, um, some infantry. And um, they've got two Leopards here. 2A5. They will probably have the 2A6 or 2A7. Uh, but yeah. Also some Martyr 1A3s. So they probably have the 1A5. But once again, I'm choosing the vehicles that suits the scenario the most. Uh, or the best, rather, to keep it balanced. Um, but it can never, of course, get fully fair because we're using different equipment and all that stuff. Uh, if we did a civil war in Russia with the same units, it would be pretty fair. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to write in the comment section what you want to see next when it comes to the Wasteland series. I'm thinking America, uh, Scandinavia, Western Europe, perhaps even the UK. It all depends on the assets and buildings. The current maps available to the Red Rising mod are all sort of based on Russia, really. So... Maybe if I had 10 cool maps, I could really set something off and create a really cool series. Um, but then I'd have to have, of course, those 10 maps. But we'll see. I don't want to release one episode and then have to wait three weeks until I can get my hands on or make another map until then. It's going to take too long. So that's something that I'd have to probably get myself set up with a mapper. Maybe give him a, uh, a payment for all the maps. And uh, so, if, yeah, if you're a really talented mapper and you want to you wanna, you know, work on big maps like this one here make detailed ones and make uh, good cash doing it, then absolutely. I aim to make that series a reality, and I'm not going to have time to create maps for it all the time either. Mainly just record the videos and do some scripting on it. But that's besides the point of this very video. We'll, uh, we'll sort that out in the comment section, you guys. Don't forget to tell me what you want next for the next sort of World War Three, post-World War Three apocalyptic series. Um, the first one was very fine, worked out very well, but we're going to be updating that. So I've, I think I'm talking way too much here. Um, we need to actually get in and try this latest version of the Red Rising mod out. So let's click start and let's control the Bundeswehr today. I'm gonna dismount our infantry. <laughs> That's a Eurocopter back there, a Tiger. I believe uh, this one in particular is in the French camouflage. I couldn't find it in the German one. Uh, but I believe the Germans use the Eurocopter too. So uh, I think we're all good. Since it's named Tiger, I'm thinking probably German. Probably German, originally. Let's spread these soldiers out and have them ready to assault. We're going to bring some guys down there. All right, boys. Let's start it off with a bang. 
Accessories knocked out. Wonderful. Wunderbar. That'll shake the Russians up a bit. Oh, we're taking counter fire. And we're gonna have a nice fire line set up over here now. Oh my god, never hate on a screenshot, guys. Good screenshot. Doesn't come free. Freedom isn't free. <laughs> you and me. There we go. That's that'll do for today. Okay, western section is already attacked. Coming in from the north. Judging by the minimap, it always it always confuses me. For some reason, I like to say that whatever's in front of me is north. But obviously, we want to stay true to the game. Look at all these VDV soldiers here. Azuka! Laying down some fire on the helipad strip here. And we're also taking some fire from... Oh, fuck. Whatever AA gun they have back there that's opening up on us. Look at this fire line up here, though. Isn't that amazing? Providing support for our infantry. Time to take off, isn't it? Eurocopter standing by. We're going to take out that AA gun. Oh, but it took us down too. It fired at the same time we did. Ah! Uh, well, that's an eye for an eye. The AA taking out the air and the air taking out the AA. How poetic, how poetic. Oh, that guy back there is done for. Let's send in some of the vehicles, but so are we. What a trade so far. Totally rad. Okay, I'm seriously glad to be back at Red Rising with these videos. You know, it's very classic. In Red Rising, what do you do? Well, you do Americans versus Russians, or NATO in general versus Russians. Or you do Japan versus China, or America versus China. Uh, I mean, like, the Russians will probably always be there, along with perhaps the Chinese or something like that. Uh, we've also done a lot of uh, ooh, Middle Eastern scenarios with the Syrian sizes and all that stuff. I really like that, too, because the vehicles are kind of crappier and not as up-to-date, and the infantry's got their AKs and shit. A lot of technicals and vehicles like that. So, um, a lot of BMPs. Look at that MG3 rip. Off the rip, man. Oh, accessories knocked out. Bloody hell. We're taking fire over here. This tank needed a little help on its way there. Let's load up some... Not HE. Let's load up some HVTRE... Whatever, and fire it from our L44 120mm. I believe the L55 is attached to the A6. This is the A5. It's a lot better, a lot longer barrel, too. Whoa! That is a collateral. We just hit a collat. We shot through this thing and hit that tank back there. That's a double. Oh, baby, it's a double. Okay, we got a lot of our vehicles still obviously functioning. It's kind of the, the goal to have our assets functioning by the end of this battle, but we know that we will take casualties. So that is fully understood. The German army, the Bundeswehr, will commit to the task. And, oh my lord, that's something they haven't fixed yet, uh, judging by the fact that it turned into a checkerboard. Oh my god, what, where did that come from? What are, we, what are we taking fire from right now? Is this guy still active? think so but they're jumping out so textures need to be fixed still and cops the lead manager or whatever you want to say is not is still doing that uh, talking about that red rising mod is right now actually recruiting people uh, they need people that can f work with those textures and fix that um, so if you've got any experience in in, in texturing in general uh, with, with software like it um, then let them know, let them know in the comment section, I'm sure we'll root them out, or contact me and I'll pass you through, because the Red Rising mod is currently actually looking for people who actively want to help them develop this further, and take this mod to new levels, perhaps beyond a mod, so, um, oh, bring these guys forward, look at this, poor VDV is just going to get slaughtered, except they took out the very gunner of that, so we might have a little infantry fight coming up now. They just wanted to take the train home to whatever nearby city. 
Look at that AUG, though. That is a very good-looking gun. Sounds great, too. I think those are new sounds. They, I don't believe the AUG sounded that good before. I think they've redone most of the sounds in the game in order to increase that experience. And here's where the video ends. Not really the video, but the battle. Of course, yes, we crashed. Sorry about that. I have to talk to you guys just for another minute, though, before I let you guys go. Thank you for watching the video. We got through most of the battle. It's pretty much uh, over and done with. We would have won that, obviously, with the tank superiority we had. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Red Rising is probably going to be awesome in a little while. Uh, just needs a little fixing when it comes to the textures and some of the crashes. Um, I don't know why I keep crashing. I've had... A horrible time recording absolute pressure over the last two days kept crashing all the time in that I think it took around roughly I don't know five or six attempts before I could actually get a video out uh, to you guys and uh, not to mention the fact that when you click finish it crashes the game so making that scenario in general and having to test it out probably took roughly uh, 50 crashes uh, kind of shows what you have to go through sometimes to get things done um, but yeah so in general I hope you guys enjoy the battle uh, this is not my first attempt at it. I've crashed multiple times before uh, I came this far. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all going to be fixed. I'm not going to commit to a series on Red Rising until it's a little more stable. But there's a reason why it's not public. There's a reason why it's not released yet. Because it is, of course, still a work in progress. So remember what I said about them needing some texture artists. Uh, hit them up if you've got some... Uh, skills with textures they could really use it anyway i'll see you guys soon again hope you guys enjoyed and i will yeah see you guys soon again bye